With the world in a state of flux, with supply chains tangled and manufacturers struggling to keep up with demand, inventory management is more important than ever. If you run a retail business, you're already aware of the significance of managing your inventory. Inventory represents one of the biggest expenses companies incur. Poor inventory management can cripple your business financially by tying up your working capital, incurring unnecessary carrying costs, and by not having items your customers want. But what if you're new to the world of e-commerce or hybrid selling? Understanding what inventory management is and how it's most commonly implemented will help you better run your business, increase revenue, and satisfy your customers. Not sure how to get started? We'll help you with this video on inventory management for beginners. Here at SKU Vault, we're dedicated to helping you make inventory management easy so you can focus on growing your business. Inventory management is one of the key components of running a successful business. But what is inventory management exactly? Inventory management is simply the practice of tracking your stock levels across all your various stores, e-commerce sites, or warehouse locations. It's sometimes referred to as inventory control or stock control, but they're all the same basic thing. A way to make sure you have proper inventory levels at all times so you can fill orders but not tie up all of your budget with products you're not going to sell quickly. If you sell products, you're going to have inventory. If you have inventory, you'll need to implement some sort of inventory management system to ensure you have enough product on hand to meet demand. It's really that simple. Whether you're a small startup selling items online and storing product in your garage, or a major retailer with warehouses around the globe, inventory management matters. Here are four reasons why inventory management is important. It saves you money by lowering carrying costs for excess stock. Carrying costs is the money you spend to store your inventory, replace perishable items you don't sell, and so on. These are costs many small businesses don't consider. However, if you carry too much inventory, you may have to rent additional space to store it, hire extra employees to manage it, or have to pay over time on items you're not going to sell. It allows you to forecast for the future. One key benefit to inventory management is it provides valuable data you can look at to spot trends. You can see how much product you're selling historically during the course of the year and order accordingly. It prevents lost sales due to stockouts and out of stocks. Good inventory management means you'll always have the right amount of product on hand to meet demand. This means when customers want to order products, you'll have inventory to make the sale. Stockouts and out-of-stocks will send your customers to other sellers, and winning them back is a challenging proposition. Better customer service. Building on that last point, good inventory management leads to better customer services as a whole. Orders can be filled in a timely fashion, and customers are happy. These are just a few of the ways implementing inventory management can help your business succeed. As you become more experienced, you'll see that an inventory management system can impact your growth in some pretty dramatic ways. So, now that you know what inventory management is and how it can affect your business, you're probably ready to set up your inventory management program or refine the one you're currently using. There are three main ways companies track inventory. Let's break down each one. The first inventory management system is the one everyone thinks of. A ledger, a pencil, and some paper. When I was in college, I was a movie theater manager, and we did inventory every night this very way. I'd walk around after closing with a clipboard, a pencil, and an inventory sheet and count all the cups, the popcorn bags, and all the candy. For a small single movie theater, this method mostly worked. It was time-consuming to count everything each night, but it was manageable. The problem was this method required daily counting by a person, it was prone to human error, and it didn't scale well. If you had a large theater or multiple theaters, counting everything every night would quickly become impossible. Still, this is where everyone starts their inventory management journey. If you're a super small business, it can work, at least for a while. When the manual ledger counts no longer work, most people jump to a spreadsheet solution. Spreadsheets are easier to manage than pencil and paper, are customizable to meet your specific needs, and offer tons of templates you can use for free. Beyond that, they allow you to track a lot more data than the ledger method. The problem with spreadsheets is that they have to be maintained by a person in real time, and this can lead to human error. They also don't scale well as your business grows. At some point, the spreadsheet becomes a spread novel and all the moving parts become too much to manage. Like the pencil and paper method, almost every business tries to manage inventory with a spreadsheet at some point. The problem is you will eventually outgrow it. Our final inventory management method is using dedicated inventory management software. And IMS offers a lot of options for businesses based on their specific needs. They scale well as you grow, too. One of the biggest benefits of an IMS is that it automates your inventory management. Using barcode scanners or RFID tech means you have data that's accurate up to the second and it syncs across all your various sales channels. Many inventory management software solutions offer robust reporting and analytics tools as well, which takes the guesswork out of ordering stock. You'll be far less likely to get caught short-stocked or overstocked with an IMS. 
The potential downside of an IMS solution is that there is some setup and upfront costs involved. You may need to reconfigure your stock area or add barcode equipment. You might need to adjust your tech stack. The effort is worth it though. Your IMS will grow with your business, meaning you won't have to find a new solution as your company expands. Most companies operate at a 63% inventory accuracy rate, which means even successful companies have room for improvement. Inventory management presents one of the best and easiest ways to increase revenue for your business. The best part is that getting started with an inventory management system doesn't have to be daunting. There are solutions for every industry and company size. If you'd like to learn more about how you can implement an inventory management program for your business, we're here to help. Click the link here on the screen or in the pinned comment and description below to speak with a member of the SKU Vault team.